Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. In today's video, I want to give you some helpful tips on not only how to choose the best deli or lunch meats for your family, but also healthiest ones, preferably lower sodium, and how to save money when buying them. Yes, you can actually save money on not only the deli cut, but also prepackaged. But before we get started, be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this as well as my other videos on faith, health, and beauty all year round. So, before we get into the really big details, I want to give you this one bit of health info that would be helpful. If you tend to buy the brands of lunch meat that have nitrites, which I wish you would, but if you do, you can eat more vitamin C with your meal, adding a slice of tomato, or a piece of fruit afterward, research has shown that this can actually reduce your risk of nitrate conversion in the body by doing so. So if you are in a situation where buying those products is more affordable for you, then be sure to add tomato or other items that have vitamin C to that meal to reduce your intake of them. So, lunch meat, deli meat, all sandwich meat all different names there's so many varieties so many brands so many types it is there's just a plethora of them on the market i personally as you know don't eat them i'm raw vegan but i have friends and family who do so i serve them for gatherings and meals and so forth so how do i choose the better deli meats and how do I save money doing it? I want to share that with you because it can really stretch your budget and save you so much money that you can use that money to buy your other meats such as chicken and beef and so forth. Well first, as you know, the majority of lunch meat or deli meat out there contains a high amount of sodium. Some of them over 400 milligrams. I even saw one package with a brand I won't mention that has 680 milligrams, no one should be eating that lunch meat, not even those people's own family. So why they would sell that to others, I don't know. But it's not good for anyone. Whether you're watching your sodium intake, or your blood pressure, or whether you're not, it's just a really bad idea to eat deli meat that has high milligrams of sodium. Also, when you eat that, it can cause bloating, and also in some instances cause headaches so the first thing I would do is to look for lunch meats that contain 300 milligrams of sodium or less per serving those are the best ones to buy and yes they do exist they are out there you just have to take your time reading the package and if you buy your deli meat from the deli and you have it personally sliced for yourself, ask them to show you or tell you what the milligrams are per serving for that lunch meat. Don't be afraid to ask. Don't be afraid to ask the, the person at the deli counter. They'll be happy to answer for you. Know what you're eating, know what you're buying. It's your life, your health, your body. Don't take it lightly. Don't leave it in someone else's hands. Check the sodium. Your body will thank you. Now, there are some lower quality deli meats out there that you may be purchasing because it's in your budget. I hope that you know there are other ways to get those the better quality meats and eat better for you and your family. And when I speak of those meats, I'm speaking of the ones that say mechanically separated. It means the meat was removed from the bones by machine. And these meats can have a gritty quality due to the small bone particles. Also, it can be meat from many different animals. Not just the one animal and the meat was removed from that one animal. It can be a whole bunch of different animals and the meats being mixed. And there's a greater chance of salmonella and E. coli if ever possible by higher quality meats. Not the ones that are really, really cheap and sold for 99 cents including the link sausages and rope sausages you can do better and i'm going to give you tips so you know how now you may see some of these deli meats 
prepackaged that say buy products or variety. Now what that means is that the product may contain hearts, lips, tongue, and so forth. I don't know about you, but even when I was eating meat, I didn't want to do parts. I wanted the the breasts or the thigh or the what the meat is supposed to be made out of. Now there are brands out there and you know whom they are and so do those companies where they will even list hearts. And if they list hearts, then you better believe there's lips, tongue, and everything else in it. If you don't have a problem eating those cuts, then by all means, enjoy. If you want to make sure that you're getting higher quality meat that's better for you, without a lot of things you shouldn't eat it, don't buy meat that has lips, hearts, gizzards, tongue, or anything else. Go for the meat. Sodium nitrate is a salt and it's added to enhance the meat's color and flavor and during curing the nitrate can turn into nitrite and what is nitrite? Nitrite is a chemical that reacts with the amines in the stomach and it helps to produce cancer causing nitrosamines which you don't want and some companies have stepped up one I can actually mention is Oscar Mayer, where they make their bacon and sausages that are made with chicken and beef. They make them without the nitrates and nitrites, and they replace it with celery, which is really brilliant because celery does the same thing. Whenever possible, purchase meat that doesn't have nitrites. But if you happen to or you have to, Know that they are effective at providing antibacterial properties that can help prevent botulism. And that is another reason why it's added to the meat. So you're going to have to decide for yourself, is it a better deal for you to have them? Or do you think it's better for your health not to have them? I say go with the ones that add the celery that make it helpful, more healthy for you. Now, deli meats may seem healthier, especially with some of the claims that are on the labels. Some that say they're lower sodium, some that say they're lower fat. But remember, it's still deli meat. And remember, they too were packaged when they were transported to the store. And you see the big cuts of meat that are in the package. And they unwrap it to cut it for you. So it's still a packaged deli meat. And it's still unless it says so has high sodium still has nitrites and nitrates so you've got some brands like Green Ridge and Boar's Head that really focus on the quality being better for their meats so again ask the sodium content ask if they have nitrates and nitrites ask how it's processed the people behind the counter will know if they don't they can read the package for you, and you can know whether this is something you should buy. For the healthiest choice, I recommend going with organic brands like Applegate. You're getting fresher meats, you're getting cleaner meat, you're getting more stringent processing, safer quality meat, and organic brands don't have nitrates or nitrites which is always excellent. What are some helpful tips for your deli meat purchases, buying them cheaper? Well, as always, buy them on sale. And when they are on sale, buy them in multiples. You can easily freeze deli meat. So if you get a great buy because A, either it's on sale, or B, there's a markdown with a close date, or C, you hit the jackpot, and you've got coupons on top of all of that. Buy them in multiples and put them in the freezer, just like any other meat. You can stock up on deli meat, this prepackaged, put in the freezer, and if you get the deli meat that is cut for you at the deli counter, yes, you can still safely freeze it, but you're gonna wanna get a little thicker cut for the slices because you get the thin ones when you thaw them, they're gonna just disintegrate, and if you try to pull them apart, they're gonna self-destruct. 
Another tip I have is you can take wax paper and put it between each slice if you're going to freeze the deli cup lunch meat and that will keep it from sticking together and also make it easier if you want to just take out a slice or two to make a sandwich or something and not thaw the whole thing you can just remove the slices of wax paper counting how many slices you want for that particular purpose another way to save on deli meat check around at different stores on pricing some stores carry the same meat and there's a huge difference between prices per pound and it won't be because it's a sale it's because of the store you're shopping. You may shop at a higher end store sometimes and a lower end store, believe it or not, sometimes a lower end store will have higher prices per pound on deli meat than the higher end store because they'll have sales and specials. So again, check your papers, check online, check the prices and when the prices are low enough and budget friendly for you, strike and buy, stock up freeze and save so the best thing to do is to buy the highest quality and best quality deli meat you can purchase in your budget and if you want a higher quality and better quality buy it on sale buy it during promotions buy it when it's on clearance and also compare price per pound that's another way to say and you don't always have to get a pound when you go to the deli you can get a half a pound or even a quarter pound. What I do sometimes is when there are sales, I will buy it in quarter pound increments and mix the different varieties. And that way you save and you have a lot more variety. So, have these tips been helpful for you? If so, be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this, as well as my other videos on faith, health, and beauty all year round. Thanks so much for watching. I hope these videos are really helping you to stretch your budget and eat healthier. I'm Julie. Continue to be happy, healthy, and whole. See you next time.